Hey there, you looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Let's have some fun. Less than a week after he got used to his pants, I started working with him every day to get him used to silks and other things he would come to love. I would wear my silk shirt, silk hose, and pretty silk pants every other day or so. This was nice, and I was getting used to my strange foundations. She bought even more silk clothes, but this time it was girly. Wow! With my wife's permission and blessing, I was wearing women's undies. I wasn't sure at first, but it felt great. I was starting to understand a woman's point of view. Well, men's clothes aren't made of silk, are they? Not where we live. Lori made sure that my pajamas were clean and hanging in the closet most of the time. Today wasn't like other days. Where are my pajamas, Lori? In the wash, you idiot. Don't worry. Just look in your drawer to see what I got you. All I have are underwear, I said with a smile. I looked, and to my astonished eyes, what did I see but two beautiful silk nighties dripping with lace and in our size, medium? I had never seen them before, so I just knew they were for me and got a little excited again. As I took one out of the drawer and stroked it, I'm afraid I said, Lori, these are beautiful, but I'm already wearing pants. Why do you want me to wear these pretty nightgowns, too? Surely you know I love you in silk, and this way I can have you in it for less money and around the clock. It's about how they feel. Gowns aren't nearly as expensive as pajamas. Put it on, you'll love it. I slid the gown over my head. It was a light pink color, and I was, well, a little embarrassed. Lori came up to me and kissed me again, just like she had done with the pajamas. Oh, did that feel good? I went to sleep in that beautiful, light silk nightgown, which was so comfortable I didn't want to get out of it. So I didn't the next morning. I wore it to breakfast. I might have looked a little silly in my scuffs and nightgown, but the feeling was just too good. You look very attractive this morning, Carl. Do you like your new nighty? Yes, Lori, I do enjoy my new nighty, but now I'm in trouble with both my pants and my nighty. What now? Oh, we'll come up with something, I'm sure. I'm a little worried about that. All righty, we kept wearing my new nightgowns for the next two weeks, and I have to say that when the pajamas were back in stock, I still chose the nightgowns. The dresses were so comfortable, and I liked how they felt as I walked. Is this what a long skirt feels like, Lori? Pretty much, except without the hairy legs, of course. They feel much nicer without the hairy legs. Would you consider shaving your legs, honey? You'll love the way the nighty feels against them then, for sure. Ah, uh, I don't know, Lori. I think I'm already in a lot of trouble with how much I like the panties and gowns. I really don't care how much you like silky clothes. Okay, I'll think about it, but what's going on with my chest these days? I seem to be getting a lot softer and fluffier and not just there. Lori didn't answer, so it was a rhetorical question. Two more silk shirts showed up in my closet. They didn't button the same way as the first one, and they had these little seam things on the sides of the chest. At half the price of a shirt, I would think you'd be happy. Now, I guess I know what to do next, huh? Okay, sue me, Carl. Yes, they are blouses, and you look great in that one. They have the same look as a shirt. Most of the time, Carl won't stand out. There's nothing special about them, like a Peter Pan collar. Besides, you do look like you might be growing a little bit. You might soon want that extra space. Enjoy them. So the next day, I went to work in my pants, silk hose, and blouse. And she was right. Nobody noticed. After all, the tie covered the buttons and my undershirt was barely visible. I did think to myself, what's next? And wearing that blouse gave me a buzz. I didn't have to wait long. A few days later, oh, what a pretty robe. Silk, I'll bet, and for me, Lori. Well, I've already said thank you twice. Of course, for you, dear. If you wear a nightgown to the table, you won't get jam or something else on it. In reality, it's just nylon with a satin finish, so it's easy to clean, but it feels like silk. But I think you'd look cuter if you took the other half of a pair of underwear. Here, she said, handing me a well-padded satin bra. I think you'll feel a little less out of place with your own bumps, and the gowns will hang so much better, don't you think? Please, take it and try it on. Aren't we taking this... Oh, well, never mind. Not too far, right? That's right, Muffin. 
Exactly. You can never have too much silky, and you really should let some of your hair grow out, don't you think? At this point, I'm not sure about anything. What should I do? She showed me, apparently, the extra fat on my chest made me look very real with a bra on. When I looked in the mirror, I had to admit that the dress hung much better. You really like this on me? It makes me look a lot like a girl. It's okay, honey. And the dress does look much better now, she said. It should be lumpy where it should be. So do you, sweet cheeks. It's funny that you brought that up, Lori. I think I'm getting really lumpy. My chest is getting very soft and fluffy, and I think my tights is getting even bigger. Oh, don't worry about that, sweetie. I see that, but I'm so sensitive there now, too. Oh, I'm sorry. It really itches like crazy. Here, let me do it for you. My head was starting to spin. Wow, cool. It didn't take long to figure out that my blouses looked better with something to fill up the darted area and started putting on my bra when I got home. Was there no end to this silk thing? She was right about silk, though. It was definitely addictive. I didn't want to give up any of it now, even the bra. I rather liked the effect of the extra fat on my chest. It made my bra look really authentic, and my gowns were starting to drape a little at the front, even without my bra. Lori started getting ready for bed early and lounging in her nightgown, robe, and high-heeled mules. Honey, why don't you get ready for bed, too? Sure, if that's what you want, Lori. When I went to change, I wasn't surprised to find a pair of wedge-heeled mules under my side of the bed. Uh-huh. Training mules tap, tap, tap on the wood floor of the hallway. I see you found your new slippers. Do they fit? Yes, they do fit my feet. I'm worried about how it will fit on the rest of me. These make me feel even more weak and feminine. Look at me, all dressed up in a pantyhose, a gown, and now high-heeled slippers. What do slippers and silk have in common? Have you already shaved your legs? Yes, and you were right, he said. I love how the dress flows around my bare legs. Well, see? You don't mind a little bit of femininity that much, do you? On you, no, but I never said I wanted to be female, Lori. I just said I liked silk. I'm starting to think that you really want to make me more feminine and girly. Oh no, you look cute, darling. Have you ever looked at your hips, tights, and shoulders all together? Even so, you look like a girl. Sit down and enjoy your new slippers and pretty silks instead of complaining. We still need to give you a pedicure. Those nails look terrible with nothing on them. Here, let me get the kit, and I'll fix you right up. You'll fix me just fine, I'll bet ten red toes. Of course, but maybe just pink. You'll have much cuter slippers. Now stand still. It seems like I've been standing still a lot lately. From then on, after dinner and dishes, we'd get into our pajamas. I was getting really good at managing my heels. Even though they made me sway, which seemed to be getting heavier every week, they weren't very high. Not more than two inches, I'm sure. A few nights later, Lori was getting her nails done. After she was done, I was her next customer, and she gave my hands hardener and clear polish. I had nothing to do but sit there and watch TV. It was pointless to argue with her. A lot of men get manicures, but mine didn't really look like a man's. Okay, that's a lot less than masculine, just like hers. There I sat in my silken heels, and now my toes are pink and my fingernails are shiny, round, and long. I was always surprised by how this silk thing turned out. Uh, honey, yes, Lorianne. Instead of wearing that old cotton undershirt all day, would you rather wear something really nice? What on earth could it be, Lori? Thanks for watching. Check out Patreon if you want to have early access to the other parts. Have a wonderful day.